Yeah. Really uh, surprised and, uh, and uh, feel that love and come from them. And, uh, I, and any, everyone in Israel today is very excited about coming, be able to come to Dubai and visit Dubai. But I think that they are not less excited to have us here. Uh, the, the COVID times that was not good in business for no one, now there's a big opportunity for Israel and it's also a big opportunity for them. And uh, yes, and I, 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 again, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's a win-win, it's, it's great, and uh, maybe it's the best thing that happens to, to our economy in 2020. The timing of the uh, um, Abraham Accord is, is really perfect because for us, uh, most of the other markets are uh, closed down due to the COVID. And I have to ask, has the Palestinian issue come up at all? In not at all. Really? It's not an issue here. Well, as far as business is concerned, and that's what, what makes uh, the Emirates so special because it's very much business oriented and uh, that is uh, something that we appreciate very much. Where am I? I am at Joytech. Um, I witnessed uh, already a few uh, peace agreements with uh, neighbors uh, through my career with Jordan, with Egypt. I, I feel that this is the most uh, business oriented and uh, maybe one of the warmest uh, welcoming that we ever experienced and I'm very optimistic about the future of uh, the relationship and the business uh, potential between Israel and the Emirates. Peace is not done uh, changing changing other people. Peace is done when you can be yourself and the other side can be herself and we can talk together. And that's what's happening here. I hope we're going to do business, but I am sure we're doing peace.